One player I must mention, that's Sturk. He sounds like someone from Hull trying to say the word Stoke. So I do enjoy hearing his name, but hopefully not too more often this evening. It's Josh Shinibar knocking the ball over the top for uh, Sol Wanjiao Smith to chase. Wanjiao Smith goes over, looking for a penalty, doesn't get one. So uh, not just discussing this with one of, yeah. two of the older fans. That he's the sort of spiritual successor to Frank Ovard. So Sam Bone with a throw in for Maidstone, midway inside Maidstone's half. Odesanya wins the header, but Fisher wins the second ball. So now Bromley have possession, but Maidstone win it back. Good little ball there from Shonibert to Booty. Booty plays a great ball through to Shonibert. Shonibert will shoot, and Shonibert will score! And it is 1 0 to Maidstone. And what a goal it was! It, brilliant ball by Regan Booty. Perfect run from Josh Shonibert. And uh, a very elegant little finish into the bottom corner. Maidstone 1, Bromley 0. Who saw that coming? We've been here before, Fred. As the Saturday springs to mind, especially with Shonny Bear. Four in seven for him now. It was great. Defensive midfield play. I was going to pick up so that Booty's been the one furthest back of the three in the centre of the midfield. Time that uh, Jack Corley was selected. And the throw. It's not a missile. It goes towards the edge of the area. Ball is uh, chipped in towards the far post. Header up in the air and Hadler is underneath it and Hadler claims it. Corner to come in through Sturt. Goes towards the far post this time. Hadler's up there but uh, Odesanya rather takes it off him. Ball's gone to the edge of the area. Brown comes away with it. Brown plays it into the path of Josh Shonibert. And now Josh Shonibert puts his afterburners on. Goes down the left-hand side. He's got options in the area if he wants them. And just decides to shoot. And uh, unfortunately from a Maidstone point of view... Shoots high and wide over the town end. Almost by the corner flag. Long throw towards the near post. It bounces once in the air. It's going to be a shot by Bromley and it should have gone in, but it doesn't. It uh, somehow is cleared. It's Fowler that's got the Fowler, block in I think, there. Yep. Yeah, it's great the block. We are just saying beforehand, <laughs> we could do it. We could do with another pandemic coming along <laughs> so we can get it shut down. Keep it light, Fred, keep it light. So cheek cuts inside. Good run by him, he's going to take the shoot, he leaves it for the number 21, Hadler just about saves it. Was uh, unselfish by Cheek, he left it for Vennings. Bromley can attack down the right-hand side, Vennings will lay it off for Fisher. Fisher surges down the right-hand side, but it's cleared by Job as far as the number six, so on me. And now Bromley attacking on the right-hand side as a shot, might break for Cheek, Cheek is in the area, Cheek will shoot and it's a goal for Bromley, it's the equaliser. Close range effort. I think it was Lewis Dennis that scored it. And Bromley have equalised five minutes before half time. Same old story, Fred. Maidstone take the lead and individual errors, sloppy defending, punished. All play down the left hand side now. It could be Whiteley crossing it into the middle and Cheek is going to score, is he? No, it's going to be followed up and it's going to go wide. And somehow. Maidstone have kept that out. Initially, Cheek had the effort on target. Sturk had a second effort, and it was deflected wide. Whiteley to chip it back in to the edge of the box. So when we headed across the area, it's got to be the second, surely, for Bromley. Is the offside flag going to save Maidstone? No, I'm afraid it isn't. It's just a close-range finish. It is uh, James Vennings who scores for Bromley. And uh, Fortune vomits on the Maidstone Ida down once again. Stoppage time in the first half. Maidstone were leading 1-0. They now find themselves 2-1 down. And frankly, if this season were a dog, it would have been shot long ago. And getting their just rewards. Maidstone just trying to get some things off the drawing board again, see if they can help. Far post corner this time. Awkward bouncing around the area. Might fall for Bone and he scores! Maidstone are back in it, Sam Bone equalises. Yeah, ball's broken to him, that corner. They say they've gone back to the drawing board and tried to uh, get something. It's just route one, frankly, it gets into the mixer. Keeper's come for it, punched it, flailed, missed, and Bone's just absolutely lashed it. And uh, Booty will play it to Sam Bone. Fowler's got a bit of an injury down here. Yeah, Fowler is uh, struggling. A nice run by Burko. Burko into the area. Burko has done really well there. He plays it to the edge of the area. And it's a goal! 
And it's offside. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> sum, sum up your season in a moment there. Fantastic play from Burko. Christ's sake, Linesman. Take pity on a side at the bottom of the table. <laughs> Burko runs up the left-hand side. Great bit of play. Smashes it across the box. Um, I don't know if their national self status is secure or not. Very much not so. Part of the reason why he's there, and from memory, I think they are sat in the drop zone, uh, the last position at least. So they're probably going down to the wire, to be fair, in terms of how they finish this season. Yeah, they are 21st. Game in hand over Chesant, who have uh, played a game more and got a point more. Probably attacked down the right-hand side, gets the byline. Good run here. Into the area, it's going to be squared for the 11. Dennis, and oh. it's gone wide. It's cheek. And, uh, I have no idea how Dennis has missed that. It's deflected um, off cheek and gone I think wide. It, yeah, I think you could be right, actually. It, uh, it seemed to clip the heel of uh, Michael Cheek. Uh, for all the world, it looked like he was going to just plant that in the uh, top corner forward. Gets it back. He's going to try and play that into the area. Hadler should claim that, Hadler does claim that. That's about right. I'm Adler. not sure if Whiteley had kept that in, to be fair, Fred. Absolutely so. bowls that over arm to Booty. Booty plays it into the channel for one Jail Smith to chase. He's onside. He's into the area. He's got Shawnee Bear in there if he can find him. He's at the byline. Plays it across the area and it's just about kept in by Bromley and it doesn't go out Ooh. for a corner, does it? So one mate with a throw towards the near post. Booty is the player underneath it. And it's not back towards the danger area but Mason will clear it initially as far as uh, well it's been won back by Forster Forster has uh, played it out wide Bromley in possession on the right wing area Kendall the sub will cross that one Odesanya will win the header and uh, oh well, referee oh God, I mean listen how many times do I have to say it I mean that is an advantage rule um, they can certainly Mason are breaking down the left hand oh. side Booty's gone down injured. The referee has blown for a free kick. He can book the player once Maidstone have gone up the other end and done something. It's a good three-on-three three position on that left-hand side for Maidstone to attack. That advantage, you know... With Second time Durkin's done that tonight. back to the Woking game. Well, it's He's a red off. card. <laughs> it's a straight red card. Kendall, I think. For Charlie Kendall. Shown it, yeah. Must have been more serious than it looked. I mean, he's walking to the bench and it's the opposite direction from where these changing rooms are. You've just been there. You've got to go there on your own, mate. The lights are automatic. They'll come on. You won't be on your own. Well, he's supposed to walk um, off at the nearest available point as far he as He is, I'm but, aware, but at, the, at the same time, because it's a red and he's got to leave, rather than it being a sub, he's got to leave the field of play completely, so he can't... Fowler back to Booty. To Wanjiao Smith. Tries to find Wanjiao Smith, but uh, it's going to be brought out of defence by Bromley, by the number 21, Vennings who has uh, played a good crossfield ball to Whiteley. It could be danger here for Maidstone. Whiteley into the area. Whiteley will shoot, and Whiteley will shoot just wide and over the bar. Didn't miss by more than about a yard. Wasn't far off, Fred. There was a lot of disappointment that the ball wasn't played through to Dennis through the middle. If it had it done, he would have been offside, but instead the ball arced out to this near side, left-hand side for Bromley to attack. Uh, been Another impressed one by rounds in this area. Been impressed by Forster since he came on as well. Mm. Ball comes forward. The target is Shawnee Bear. Won't win it, but uh, second ball might fall for Wanjiao Smith. It does fall for Wanjiao Smith, who plays it out wide to Shawnee Bear. Mason have got a chance to load the box now. Might fall inside for Deacon. Deacon into the area. Deacon tries to cut it inside for Wanjiao Smith. Wanjiao Smith shoots, goes over, and uh, there's a bit of a collision between him and uh, Sawonmi. I think he misses his kick more than anything there, Fred. Yeah, doesn't I think he? they both went for it, yeah. and uh, neither of them. Oh yeah, they will. Sorry, but the board's gone sorry. up for eight minutes. I thought they were about to. They are going to make a change. They are. Apologies. They're at eight thought, minutes yeah. of stoppage time I here. You so meant the board was for the change, yeah. but it's for the eight. So no, you, you're right. You are right. Um, he did put the board up. Mates and are getting ready to make a change. In fact, they're getting ready to make two changes. Might as well. Kitchen sink time. Want to no, get it a win? Depends what kind of kitchen sink you're throwing. It could be a chance here for Forster. Jinx his way to the edge of the air. It's shot by White. It's fumbled by Hadler. It's going to be a goal. I do not believe it. Well, there's the kitchen sink. I do not believe it. If the gantry collapsed now, I wouldn't care. Bromley have scored. It's 3 2. Unbelievable. It's. I keep saying it. Maidstone playing against 10 men have conceded in stoppage time yet again. 
it encapsulates the entire season, Fred. I've said it too often tonight. Probably his best performance for Maidstone this evening. A full 90 minutes for him as well for the first time in a few months as well. And, so we'll uh, be happy with that. One the ball back here on the byline near the corner flag. Might just be a chance for a cross. Odesanya is the player there. He's being forced backwards though. Ball is going to go into the area. Might fall for a Vigas. It might fall for Odesanya, but it doesn't. It's uh, going to be Bromley who can counter. And now there's danger of a fourth here. Bromley are counter-attacking and uh, referee does not play the advantage. Right. when uh, Whiteley was through on goal and that's a straight red card it's the second time the ref has uh, decided not to play an advantage so he can show the red card this evening just trying to work out which player it was that's got I think it's Brown that's been sent off for Maidstone yeah it was it's an understandable red card it's taken one for the team but it's uh, was he actually the last man I'm I, not I, it's certainly hmm. I think he should have let play go on to be honest and um, Bone wax that one forward in the direction of Vigors. Bromley just play that one out. Referee might as well blow his whistle. Oh, still another minute Nine or two left in this. Nine minutes has been added here. Still now. a minute or two left. Or not. Right, that's it. Maidstone and loss. We've had enough. Thanks for listening if you made it this far. See you later.